Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. I'm at CES 2015 and this video is brought to you by ASUS. I'm here checking out a new nano drone. This is FlyZano. You can check out more information on flyzano.com. The Kickstarter campaign for this actually just ended today. So it's a little quadcopter. It comes with a full sonar array, five megapixel camera. It's capable of taking uh, 1080p video as well. So if you are indoors and all, all flight conditions are perfect, one battery charge will last you about uh, 10 to 15 minutes. I'm hearing around 12 actually. If you're outside and he has to do more computational compute power, deal with wind and other things, you're probably looking at much, much less. So you can see right here on the front, here's where we have the camera. There we have the sonar array. And if you take a look over here, here's actually one that has been taken apart. So you can see the microchip controller there and then all of the intelligence there in the brain. Now if you did uh, pick one of these up on Kickstarter, you would have gotten one for $279 and it comes with a couple of extra batteries. If you are not lucky enough to have backed this, you can head over to flyzano.com and pick one up for $299. I just wanted to give you a quick look at a tiny little nano drone and the future of selfie taking. This is a very popular concept at CES this year. Uh, you know, remember at the Intel keynote where we had Nixie, which was a wrist mounted uh, nano drone that would have boomerang mode, so it would, you know, cover out and then fly back to base. Eventually they wanted to, you know, re-land onto your wrist like a falcon. Now this doesn't have this boomerang mode, but you can send it out and it has the return to base, so it will return to the place of origin. Very cool, so exciting to see uh, little things like this. I'm Nicole Scott for Mobile Geeks, taking a look at Fly Xano.